let me begin by saying this is the first inaugural annual FYA Voices Rising Showcase. Welcome. Before there was a Civil Rights Act, there was a network of African-American activists connected to each other, sharing ideas, and making many milestone achievements. Before the landmark LGBT same-sex marriage Supreme Court ruling, there was a network of LGBT activists connected to each other, sharing ideas, and making many achievements. Now, I don't know what the big achievement, the landmark achievement for the foster care child welfare community will be for us, especially the foster youth, current foster youth and alumni, but I know it's out there. And I know that as a community, our grassroots organizing has yielded a lot of mini victories. We're very good at that. We're a network of 16 foster youth led group across 15 states. We provide training, advocacy, leader, uh, and leadership opportunities that embrace and share powerful, unfiltered youth voice. We believe that uh, the right to be raised in, in a loving and a good uh, home in foster care is a right. It's a human right. And in order to get there, we think that the foster youth voice is a right. We think that active engagement is a right. And all organizations that are part of our uh, network ascribe to that philosophy on some level. As an organization, we began literally in the 90s at a conference in LA, if you will, as part of the California Youth Connection. We grew in California, and as everybody knows about CYC, we've made lots of accomplishments. At one point, we had 18 policy wins in 18 years. Um, and so there was a study done at CYC, the California Connection, about how we could go national. We were hearing about these seeds of things going on all across the country, the seeds of which we're gonna get a taste, a delicious taste today. So let's talk about what we do and what our big categories of, of service are. Uh, you see up there our most important and probably most valuable the learning hub. Uh, transparency and sharing is a big value in this organization. We, we are a learning hub. We like to build capacity. That's another word for trainers. We're very good trainers. If you've been in a training with Matt or our consultant, Christina, you see that it's very thoughtful. We amplify the voice of youth. And our, our survey does that. Our conferences do that. This platform here is the beginning of amplifying our best-in-class uh, achievements across our organization. We always want to make sure that we're testing and innovating, and you're seeing that as well with the social media, the webinar, and all the tech that we're doing. The hardest part about foster care for me was uh, the loneliness having lived in 19 foster homes and just always questioning myself, doubting myself. CYC gave me confidence. It gave me a catharsis, a way to heal from a boatload of traumatic experiences. I scored nine out of 10 at the ACES, that ACES traumatic study, if you guys know about that, that ACES thing. And the youth that I met in my time in the 90s are people that I still hear about today that I know are still involved. Like I had a career on Wall Street and I'm involved now as a communication consultant for Foster Youth in Action. But I'm here in the community, all these older alumni, still buzzing, still passionate. So the youth we're going to hear from today, I'm pretty confident are going to be that next uh, vanguard.